what's up you guys it's me orange uh today's gonna be a bit more of like a ranty video uh, that's right i'm getting mad and i need to redirect my anger into something productive because lord knows toad toad can't take it anymore and while i don't want to be the kind of channel that just calls people cringe just makes fun of a certain community of people there is one group in particular that I don't feel bad doing that with. And that's true crime fans. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Now let me clarify. Not all true crime fans are bad. You can like true crime. You can you can listen to your, your little true crime podcast. I, I do not care. You can like what you like, but there is a certain breed that chooses to go about this. Like like many other communities, there is there's the loud minority that sadly speaks for the rest of the community now this isn't a new issue either uh but it recently accelerated on tiktok with uh netflix's release of their new jeffrey dahmer show and i'll get into why netflix is just as equally if not more to blame for this problem than the people on tiktok because don't get me wrong i love tiktok for real, I spend hours upon hours wasting away getting sucked into the algorithm that I have to like claw myself out like I'm digging out of the Sarlacc pit. Maybe I just have like a <laughs> like a social media addiction. But after I saw this, I knew I had to crap on these people as publicly as possible. Now, full disclosure, I'll be loosely covering some potentially triggering events for sake of context with full respect to the victims' families and the victims themselves. I feel like just not touching on it at all would be kind of weird and kind of impossible when talking about this. So if that's not your thing or you may be sensitive to that subject matter, by all means, have a bodacious day. But without further ado, let's get into it. Now, first and foremost, the crux of this issue is TikTok's response to this new Jeffrey Dahmer show. Now, Netflix had to have known what they were doing when they casted heartthrob Evan Peters. <laughs> Literally plug in hot and serial killer into Dolly Mini, and you're probably gonna get Evan Peters. I mean, like he was in American Horror Story. I've never seen it. I just know that people drool over him, and I think he kills people in the show. But with that casting came people thirsting for Evan Peters. With that came, by extension, people thirsting for Jeffrey Dahmer as a character. And even worse, uh, getting to the point where they're thirsting over Jeffrey Dahmer himself. But there's this one account in particular that is really uh, hitting the ground running with this Jeffrey Dahmer is hot bit. Um, and it's vile. It pissed me off. You can find a lot of these thirst trap edits and everything on a bunch of different accounts, but none of them are as bad as this one. It also pisses me off that this dude is BLM in his bio whenever he's thirsting after a serial killer that almost exclusively killed people of color. Can't wait for all the comments saying, sorry, too political, unfollowed. If I said something that you agreed with, you wouldn't care. So, and keep in mind, in the original TikTok, he pins his own comment saying, and I quote, how am I supposed to hate Jeffrey Dahmer which in itself, that's like uh, enough sad, dude. Uh, how am I supposed to hate Jeffrey Dahmer if Evan Peters is making him so attractive? To further translate this, how am I supposed to hate evil serial killer if Evan Peters is making this evil serial killer so attractive? <laughs> he even had the audacity to put out like three more videos about Jeffrey Dahmer. Uh, he realized he was getting a ton of views and capitalized on it, almost made the exact same video, just in a different outfit and a wig. And this is super specific. I, like, I, I don't know why this aspect bugs me so much, 
But the fact that he's using, uh, I can't play it here for copyright, but the fact that he's using Talking Heads' Psycho Killer as the as the song of choice for this video, one, don't involve them. Two, it's just in bad taste. He moves on from the whole Jeffrey Dahmer hot shtick to uh, more so just like a blatant jab at the victims. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being so dumb. When the cops return Jeffrey Dahmer's quote-unquote 19-year-old boyfriend, uh, knowing damn well that he wasn't 19, uh, the victim was 14 years old. This isn't a character. This is someone with a shopping list of terrible traits. This is someone who did more than just take people's lives. Uh, he completely violated them in the process. So to kind of literally TikTok dance on their graves, it's not, um, I, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Am I missing something? And it doesn't stop there. Uh, beyond just thirsting over him and just fetishizing the serial killer, a lot of people just ship themselves with him. Like, here's, uh, here's my favorite one so far. Jeff as your boyfriend. <laughs> and I thought this was ironic at first, but it's, it's not. Uh, might have trouble opening up at first, but grows to trust you when you show him you won't ever leave. Loves horror movies! He'd love comforting you when you get scared. Absolutely adores seeing you in his clothes. <laughs> Shows he loves you through his actions more than words. <laughs> Jeff really loves to cook for you. Expect a meal made with love almost every day. I... T he was a cannibal. He was a cannibal. He was a cannibal. Did you forget? Did you forget? I don't think you forgot. And, uh, best of all, uh, I love the cutoff. He can't fall asleep. He just can't. He just can't fall asleep at all. So these people aren't thirsting over Evan Peters or Dahmer himself. They're more so just glorifying serial killers. This person just really, really wishes they showed more gruesome violence in the Dahmer show. As if, uh... It was supposed to be some Dahmer's greatest hits. And I've never gotten that aspect of the true crime community. Oh my god, and this is such a TikTok problem. But the people who brag that they have a dark sense of humor. No! You just like saying, or doing, or watching really effed up things uh, and getting away with it. I've watched enough live leak videos in middle school to know that you do not want to see people die. You do not need to see a reenactment of every single serial killer's kills. And I could go down the rabbit hole of, of how TikTok has this deeper issue with dark humor. Uh, Curtis Connor made a fantastic video on it. But uh, these people seem to be in a contest as to who has seen more messed up things or... Uh, who can stomach more violence and gore? It's it, To make matters worse, she has the Dahmer earrings, and the show touches on people like this. After Dahmer goes to jail, uh, they show this uprising, this cult-like following that he, that he builds of just people that worship him. I didn't really think it did a good enough job at condemning those people. It really just turned into like a bad unboxing video starring Jeffrey Dahmer. And it doesn't just stop at people making earrings or like thirst trapping. Filthy stinking rich Tony Podesta has a sculpture hanging from his ceiling of one of Dahmer's beheaded victims. So to say that people are obsessed with Jeffrey Dahmer is an understatement. And that begs the question, does giving these killers content at all simply just turn them into some sort of urban legend. To that, I say, I, I don't know. Um, I think it's important that people are educated, and I think it's important that the victim's stories are told. And that leads us into Netflix's hand in all of this. <laughs> 
Netflix has a true crime issue. It'd be one thing if it were just documentaries. But they make these movies almost always casting these heartthrob Reminal, actors Reminal. as these serial killers, knowing damn well people stand them. And it sucks because no one can do anything about it. There's already been outrage. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys remember whenever they made the Ted Bundy movie. What was it called? Like, Dashingly Handsome and, like, Deliciously Evil? Mm. Like, something really stupid like that starring Zac Efron. But it seems like every single time Netflix puts out one of these serial killer movies, the documentaries don't do as much harm. They're usually more informative than they are glorifying of the killers and everything. But Netflix knows that it's it's a successful genre. Every single time they put something out, it stays in the top 10 for weeks. And with that, it turns these very true events, very real killings, into just something that people talk about. Like, it's Squid Games at, like, the water cooler at work. Like, hey, have you seen the new episode of The Dahmer Show? Did you see the head in the fridge? Oh, that was so effed up, dude. I can't believe they showed that. And Netflix claimed that it would give notorious serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer's victims a voice. Uh, the families completely disagreed. Like I said, they can't really do anything about it. Uh, because legally, the only thing that Netflix has to abide by is just the truth and validity of the events. As long as they're not lying about it, they can shove it in people's faces. And whenever no one remembers the victim's names, but sings the killer's praises, I can't imagine what kind of toll that takes on the family. And Netflix does not care. And it's not like they haven't said anything about it in the past, because they have. But arguably, in my opinion, this makes it worse. So whenever people were standing Ted Bundy on Twitter, um, Netflix put this out. I've seen a lot of talk about Ted Bundy's alleged hotness, and I would like to gently remind everyone that there are literally thousands of hot men on the service, almost all of whom are not convicted serial murderers. So let me point out, for those of you who don't know, let me point out what's wrong with this. One, I feel like this requires a more formal response, right? Because this was a very serious issue. It got national news attention. The fact that they had the audacity to redirect people to their platform, like, hey guys, uh, I know you're having your fun. Just chill out. Uh, there's plenty of other hot people on our platform. Go watch Outer Banks or something. Plenty of hot people on that show. But that's about it. I know this video was a little more negative, a little ranty. I promise I have a more positive, fun video coming out uh, later this month, October 25th. Happy birthday to me. So tickle the little subscribe button and uh, hit the little thumbs up. It lets me know that you like the video and it makes, uh, makes my tummy really warm. Uh, so I really appreciate it. With that being said, I'm going to make a run to Trader Joe's. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to pick up for you. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.